Nothing about this song is gonna have a perfect chord for the vocals. Oh, uh, right? Um, hi. This is the first video diary of the, um, the new project I'm working on, and I'm excited. <laughs> I, uh, I started, I wrote this song, like, a year and a half ago, and it's, it's just kind of bloomed into what it is today. The amount of time I spent working on it and getting people together and um, double checking, making sure everything is good on the way I say things and how I portray myself and, and the words that I feel like God is speaking over this generation is the most intense I've ever felt with a song. Um, and I, I don't think this is the only song that that's gonna, that's gonna feel that way, but I feel really, uh, I'm liberated by this song, and I hope you guys feel it too when you hear it. There's a sense of victory despite circumstances in there, which is pretty much the whole point of the song. Um, I don't want anyone believing I'm naive enough to declare victory over everything that I state in those, but with God you can declare victory, and, and it's not naive to say that. And so. There's just been a lot of times where I feel, I feel like this intense need to state what's obvious to God, but is hard for our souls to remember, which is that the enemy has nothing on us. He's dead. He's, he's, he's lost the war. He's lost it. And he's just going to try his best to win the battles. And I wanted to bring you along with me on the journey of creating it. Um, because I think that there's a story in the creating, in in the middle of the messy, like still coming up with concepts and sounds and all that. So I'm excited to see this later in life, but I'm also excited for people who don't get to be a part of my of of this story firsthand can also see this. So that's it for now. I'll see you in Nashville. It is March 28th, um, which is a Thursday. We're leaving for Nashville tomorrow, and um, I don't feel ready. <laughs> but I don't think I ever feel ready. Um, one of my favorite songwriters that has been a mentor to me, Mark Harris, has, uh, he stressed whenever I was younger that the biggest problem with songwriters is that <laughs> we never know when to finish something and to just like submit it and be like, this is everything, this is all the words. Um, so I'm really nervous that I'm missing something big about the song, but uh, I'm just praying that God covers it in grace and uh, nothing I do is perfect. Nothing I do even gets close to the glory of God. So I have to rest in knowing that God called me to this place, God called me to write this song, God called me to, to sing it and share it with everybody. So uh, even if it's even a little bit broken, God still can do good things with it. So that's just a quick little update. I will record more later when we're in the studio. And I'm really excited. I'm super excited. My dog's about to eat my cat. Yep. Also, I got bangs. New season. New song. New season. So we're in Spring Hill, Tennessee, right out of Nashville. And we are recording. He's setting up the mic. I don't think you can see it. It's two screens. That's what happens. Um, so yeah, we're all here. Me and the rents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not excited. I'm excited. She's excited to play video games on her phone for However many hours. I um this is excited for me. I'm gonna count. Sitting! Yay! Sitting! Yay! 
so I don't just record myself watching no. them or you, no you have you. to like point it in any direction that you want <laughs> Yeah, and like if you want to part if you want to take a video over here, you're gonna you're gonna point it over here So people should record <laughs> themselves watching recording like they do watching a basketball game and be like oh <laughs> There's Robert Robert Venable Setting up the in his gray shirt. His gray shirt that's actually black it just looks different it really? it's, right. it is a black shirt. it's a black shirt. He's all he's wearing all black Cameras are funny. Those pads are black too, right? Yeah. Huh. This is where the magic happens. Okay, the lighting's bad. My cat is stalking me, but I'm home. We made it home. Uh, there was a huge wreck. My husband wants to get in. There was a huge wreck on nice. the highway, and it actually closed as soon as we had gone through. So God was involved in that, and we got home at about 8 o'clock. Working with Robert was so good. So good. Um, we, we clicked. Our humors are the same, which makes it really easy to be sarcastic because sometimes people don't get sarcasm and that's really hard. <laughs> the biggest thing I was nervous about was the guitar thing and he was like, I have it in the budget for you to have like a, a nice guitar player work on this. And I'm like, that's awesome because I am not an expert and I, I will never claim to be. So. The guitar is being done by an amazing guitarist, and I'm super excited to hear what he comes up with. My voice is a little raw today, but Robert didn't overwork me and make me <laughs> sing in a booth for hours without water or rest, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I'm home. I'm tired, but I'm happy, and I feel like... I honestly feel like I'm always wearing this shirt, is what I feel like, but... Back to the diary part. Um, I feel like this song is gonna give a lot of people chills. Chills. <laughs>